Okay. So to make your to make your uh, chop more dangerous, it has to be lower. It has to become a little bit faster, and it has to come to the end. To do this, you need to change the angle. You have two open angles. If you give me give me one spin, easy spin on my, I give you forehand. You spin on my backhand. You you do like this. Yeah, you spin like this on spin my backhand. I show you what you are doing. You are doing this. You are doing this. Right? That's what you're doing. The ball is too high, it's too slow. If somebody knows how to play against defense, there's almost no way you can beat him. Uh, uh, you told me last, last day you, you beat Filmon. I guess because he has problems with chop. Maybe he risks too much and the ball goes out. Well, I'll tell you how I, I'll tell you how I beat him. Hmm. Similar to the way you were talking about the methodology of beating me, he crushed me the first couple times. Mm -hmm. He was losing it. Okay. Okay. And he was losing e either immediately or after the one shot, he was losing the second, right? Okay. This is because he's still learning, and he has he, he cannot play yet against defense. So if you chop good, maybe he brings one in, chop again. And usually he will lose, right? And then you change maybe also the pace, one spin, and he he's losing it, right? But if somebody knows how to play against defense. Those balls uh, are too, they are too easy. So the way to do it, I will show you how the balls will come. If you spin, okay. Let me try to find it a little bit. That's how the ball should come. See, it comes more straight and still a little bit high. Let me find it a little bit, and I have this. See, this is quite a different thing, and I have I have very fast racket. I have uh, max of 88 spin, max. Yeah, spin. I, I was thinking my throw is too high. Too high. I, I, it, it, it's yes. Always coming way too high. Yes. Like in real life, when I play, first of all, I chop and I beat a lot of people because yes. I'm not nailing. Yes. I'm always keeping it, keeping it like really low. Yeah. Like Look, if you can go back and you can chop from down, it's easier. But now you have to find a way how to do it from, from close. I will show you how it should, I will show you first how the ball should come. That's right. Still too high. Give me again. Give me again. Till I find it. Like this maybe. Even more. Even more. I will, and I will, I will show you then what I'm doing. Now again, like this, like this, the bot. Yeah. And you're, you're almost making contact either at the level or yeah. the level of the table. Yes. And if the ball is high, you, the way to do it is to open the racket. You can also chop like this. Give me a ball. If it's too high, you chop like this. Do a spin. See? Okay, again, like this, do again, like this. So you have to, you have to close, you have to close the racket, and you have to go more down. You go too much like this. And I, I know how to play against defense, so I give you even more spin like this, and then it's even more difficult for you. So in those balls, you have to let it as much as you can, let it fall, and then go down. Try it, try it one time. Go down. Yes, a little bit more. Like as if you go below the below the, under the table with your racket. Well, you know what I'm also worried about though, and I do that a lot too, like like if, if it comes short and I wanna get someone back then. Yes, if it's too short. Yes, if it's too short, okay. I'm gonna keep it through the table and some people will bitch about that. They're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. Now, yes, like this and, and in front, like down in front, like this, this a little bit, little bit faster, 
like this. This is a good shop. This is a very good shop, and I would have also more trouble with this. Like this. This is much better. There's more spin in it. It's it's faster. It's lower. And if you see, it's, yes, 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 yes. If 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 I if I would play defense, I would play with one. What do you have? It's like one point two something. Ah, okay. So if you see it, it throws too much, you you lower it till you feel. If you feel like you have trouble finding it, it goes too much high. Lower it till you find that you can eat each up. Let's let's try again. And I will do more spin. Yeah, that is much more difficult for me. This this was edge ball. And down. Yes, this, but a little bit faster. So it comes more more uh, this, it comes fast like this. You see it goes out, so go hmm? I'm gonna change the, the throw right yes. Yeah. Yeah, it will surely make a difference. Like this, it's much more difficult. I don't have time. It's more spin, just edge for It's more spin, okay, down, and down, yes, now. Like this. Like this. More, more down. If you see it goes up, go more down. Go more down. Like this. This is good. And down, yes. And, and change a little bit the record. You have it too open. A little bit like this. Like this, like this, because if you have it like this, it will go up. So you change it and you go down. You want to uh, give me a spin, a spin here on my forehand. See, you can do it even, even like this, see? Okay, do you do it? Yes, a little bit, little bit more, more like this. Show me, like this and go down. Like this, like this, like this and go down, yes. Yes, this is good. This is this this is a totally different thing. I like it. Yeah. And the more the more, and then you have to look, the more spin I do, the more you have to go down. And if it's if it's like those and if it's like those those soft, which I do like this, let the ball don't don't brush it here. Let it because if it's soft it will fall down. Let it fall down. Let it fall down and then yes, yes. Go again. There, yes, and it goes up. So if it's fast, you don't you don't have a choice. But if it's like this, this soft thing, let it go down. Yes, like let it fall to the table, and then try it like this. Ah. Okay, let it fall down a little bit, and then faster, chop faster. There you go, a little bit more. There you go, this is good. So you have to find it then. And then when when you see the different spins, you have to change the angle. If it's like no spin, you can chop like this. If it's more spin, the more spin it is. Like with a block, if I if I do good spin, you close the racket, right? You don't hold it like this because the ball will go up. You close you close it. If I play no spin, you can play like this. But if I do a good spin, you have to close it, right? So it's the same thing. If I if it's no spin, you can leave it open. If it's a good spin, you have to close it. And then go down. And for your for your attack, you're losing uh, the back end because you go you go too much. <coughs> Let me show it to the left. You go like this. You try to play like this, or your movement. You will see in the video. You do this. You have to go with the ball, like this. Try it with the ball and and find the ball like this. From the top, you play like this, right? You should play like this on the top. Okay. Try it. You go up. See how you go up? Give me, give me a ball on my, on my backhand. You do this, right? You do this, but you should do. Give me again. Give me one more. You should do like this. Like on the top of the ball, so it doesn't go high, and then guide it in front. More, let let your let your arm go uh, in front. 
No. Uh, show it without. Show it a little bit without. With closed racket. No more closed. Like this. Like like this. Like this. Like this. And and fast. Fast with the wrist. Like this. Try it. You go up. You go up. I give it a little bit more easy. You go up. Go with the ball. It's like if you would want to throw your racket with the ball. Try it. With the ball in front. In front. Show it without the ball. Show it like this. And brush the ball. Like, like this. Like this. Do five, ten times or so you have. A little bit longer movement. Like this. Like this. And the, the goal is that the ball will go have this uh, trajectory. Try it. Let let your arm let your arm go. For, uh, you know, because, uh, don't don't try to put the ball in because now your mind says I have to put it in and you do some movement from which you think it will go. Don't think, just do the movement. Don't think where the ball will go. Show me the movement like this and fast. The brush is good like this. Just do the movement. Don't don't look where the ball will go. Just do the movement. Yes, faster. Brush it more. Yeah, faster, faster, faster. This is this is too little. More, more, more. Like this, like this. Do like this. Up. Brushes. Like this, like this. Exactly like this, but more. More. Let your arm go up more. Like this. No, no. More in front. Like 45 degrees. Like 45 degrees. Like this. And really brush it. More. Brush it more. Like this. And more your your hand is in front, uh, to, uh, to the front. Like guiding the ball. Like this. See? Look how, how my hand goes. Like this. You go like this. You should go like this. See? With the ball. Try. Brush it more. Like this. This is how you should do it, and always the record, the record. So in the forehand, in the forehand you do it. Show me, show me a forehand spin, and look, look how you, look how your record is. Look, look, look at the angle. It's close. You don't play like this in your forehand, right? That's why your forehand is, is better with the spin. You don't do this. You have it close. Do a movement and look how your record is. Exactly the same. You have to do with the backhand like this. Exactly like this. Try to play the ball like high, like this, slow but high. Just slow, just try it slow but high, like this. Just play it high, okay, with closed racket, with closed racket. You go back, you have to go in front with the racket. You still open your racket. You will see in the, vi you will see in the video you do this, just as, as you do with your forehand. The forehand goes like this. Backhand goes like this. It's exactly the same movement. Forehand, backhand. Forehand, backhand. Try it again. Brush it. You have to brush it more in front. Yes. You have to. You have to put the. Yes. You open it too much. You have to get close. Oh, come, come, come close to the table. So exactly where the table is. Okay. Play it from there. Maybe it's from there. It's easier. In front. In front. Close the racket. You have it too much open. Okay, let's try high ball. Go above the ball. In front. In front. Guide the ball. In front. Like your racket should come to me. The, the backhand. Yeah, but this, 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 the second one, the second one. Try it again. This one. This is how you should play. This and the wrist will bring the ball up. Uh, it's better. You, you will see later in the video. You have to, you have to get used to to uh, close your racket because if I do like this, yeah. Yes, maybe that's why because you have open racket and then you play like this maybe. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to have a good, uh, can you play counter ball like flat? Do you play? Yeah. Give, me, give me a counter flat. Flat like flat. Like flat. Flat in front. Okay. Let's try this. Yes, yes. Do this a little bit. 
Press straight in front. You have to brush the board. Can you do this from your hand? Like this. It directly, directly on my on my table, like this. With close racket. With close racket. Like this. Yes, 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 yes. Do this, this. Brush it. And brush it. Really brush it. Yes, this. That, that's it. That's it. A little bit more in front. A little bit more in front. Close racket. A little bit. Yes, yes, this. Yes. This. And go, guide the ball a little bit more with your leg in front. Yes. Brush it. And brush it more. Yes. There it is. So you have to practice. The problem is, yes, because you have you have played it so many times that it's now saved in your brain, right? So you have to reprogram it, which is difficult. Yeah. 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 You have a you have a you have a very very good feeling. Your backhand, your chop is good. Forehand is good. Your serves are very very good. This forehand thing is very good. The backhand, if you want to attack. You have to learn to play this. The the what I, what I you know if you try to because if you brush it it will get rotation right it gets rotation and then it jumps like this. So if you can practice without the without the net, just to do this thing. So so the ball will go like this right. If you practice this, just for the brush. So so you get the feeling for the brush. When you have the feeling for the brush, then you do it there. Just to get the feeling for the to brush the ball and and uh go there. Uh, you just all right. You're welcome. Thanks for the game. And thank I'll play you again and give you my one point. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, see you. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult for somebody. <coughs> if somebody um, has played many, 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 many times a certain movement, then it's very, very difficult to to change it because it's really, really safe in their in their brain, right? Then even if he thinks like he shows, he shows the right movement, but then when he plays. The it's, I guess it's unconscious, right? It, it clicks in, and you just do it. It's like it's like when when they do, uh, let's say uh, martial arts, right? If they do, let's say, they know that if somebody punches you, they block like this, right? They block like this, let's say. So if they do this like a thousand times, like bop, 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 then if somebody comes and punches, they will go like this immediately. So. This goes before you think. So he was thinking and he was doing it right. Like with close record, right? He was showing he was showing it right. But as soon as the ball come, comes he does this because that's what he played so many times. But you can't change everything, you just you have to practice, practice, practice and you can change everything. Is this the one who didn't want to play ranked? Right? 